Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And in the uh, cause of social Me Too, I'm glad that women are now starting to reach out to me. And I'm joined today by Shivani Bose. And we're going to be talking about, so I had no idea that in, in India, they've passed a law called the Prevention of Sexual Harassment or the POSH law. And Shivani uh, is a big advocate and also does gender and bias training and coaching so we're going to have a chat today about the law and what i'd like from people watching this video is that obviously i don't know what laws are relevant in your area so if there are things that are out there that i don't yet know about please contact me and dm me um, because i will then do a show with you we can we can cover those points so enough of me talking now shivani say hello and who you are so i'm a certified posh trainer what is posh uh, it is prevention of sexual harassment act it is an act which has been enacted by indian government to prevent and any act of sexual harassment which happens at the workplace and to protect and provide safety for women at workplace so, so let that's me a bit about me yeah so let me ask you then in terms of so it's like for example so um in a lot of uh developed economies they have speed cameras and traffic light cameras so if you go fast yeah, yeah. so when you watch people's behavior everyone is committing the crime until they see the camera and then they comply for that short period of time so right. what, what how long has the law the posh law been in place in india so it was implemented on 9th of december 2013 wow mm -hmm. yeah and 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 what was it that actually um stimulated that because i understand india is not exclusive it's africa and and pakistan um the role of women especially when they're young girls um you know there's FGM, there's child marriage, uh, and that's just the stuff I get to hear about. So what was it that managed to get this law passed? Okay, so what happened was there was an incident which happened, which triggered the formation of this act. So what had happened is uh, there was a woman known as Bhavri Devi, and she was working as a social worker in Rajasthan. She was trying to work against the social evils you mentioned about. She was family working against child marriage. Mm -hmm. And she was successful to stop the child marriage. You know, there was an infant of just 10 months. So she was being forcibly married. And she tried to stop that. Unfortunately, she could stop it just for one night. The baby was married the very next day. Oh my God. And what happened because of that was she invited a lot of wrath of those people of so called the high end Gujar society there. So India has a lot of caste there in which Gujars are considered high, high caste society. They got very angry that a woman, that to a low caste woman would tell them when they'll get their children married and not. So to probably, you know, provide her an adequate punishment, uh, they reached the farms where she was working with her husband. So they were just you know, doing the normal farming. And they gathered their sticks and started mercilessly beating her husband. Right. And she tried to intervene there. She, she obviously, you know, pleaded for help or mercy. And then that was the time she was brutally gang raped in front of her husband. Wow. So that's what happened. And then that was just the beginning of the ordeal she had. After that, she tried to launch an FIR. It was not easy. So FIR is like the first information report in the police station to, you know, inform that the crime has happened. It was very difficult for her to even get the FIR done. So there's a physical inspection that happens that took hours. So nothing could be proved. And once it went to the court, again, the guilty were allowed to go scot-free. Mm. So this invited a lot of wrath among the Indian women. A lot of NGOs came together under the name of Vishaka. Mm. And they launched Ashaka. a... Is that the name Vishaka. of the... Okay. Is that the name of the girl or the woman? The woman. No, it was not her name. Her name was Bhavri Devi, but they formed a special name for it as the name of Vishaka. What and they filed mean? a uh, so Vishaka does not have a specific meaning, but they just chose this name together. Okay. That we want to file only under this name. And they filed an application uh in the Supreme Court. The case went ahead. 
unfortunately the woman did not get justice a lot of uh-huh. those accused people right now probably have even died because of old age that's how old the case is uh, but she did not get justice however she paved the way for an act that came into our country known as prevention of sexual harassment act because a government recognized that you know we need some kind of legislation to protect women against sexual harassment and uh, you know like you rightly yes no 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 carry on and like you rightly said you need to have those red lights in place to ensure there is compliance similarly you needed to have a law in place initially the shaka guidelines were there we thought it would be a deterrent it didn't help we needed a law in place to ensure people are on the right side of behaving with women to ensure safety of women at workplace yep. and that's how the act has come into being so the things that concern me about laws being passed is that generally speaking they make something illegal when it's so common that it becomes a case that it needs to be a law so generally speaking in from your perspective obviously you can only give your perspective um what is the situation or what was the situation like for women at work up until this law and probably going past it but up until this law what what that specific example of a 10 month old so was that 10 month old promised to the the man that she was going to marry or actually physically married at 10 months old Uh, so physically married in a baby as in you know they just hand over to the boy's family the baby is handed over and how old was the boy she was going to marry so i don't have complete information on that but i know the the um, boy would also be almost of similar age because it's okay. a child marriage that's very very rampant in rajasthan so it, the cases have declined but unfortunately it still very well continues because the social people have a lot of acceptance for it indeed i was reading uh, melinda gates book the moment of lift and i can't remember the number but it's really high it's like something like 10 million child marriages still take place every year so yeah. Mm. So when you say you're a, a posh registered trainer what's involved and and who so look this social me too that I'm doing I don't yes. expect to change a single man who's being abusive or sexual or what have you online what I hope to do is to make it so that women understand that they are not alone in their experience and by building a community people because victimization relies on isolation on the idea that if you say anything you might lose your job Absolutely. yeah so it's it's um it's very pernicious i spoke to a woman when i first started linkedin me to and she was saying oh well no actually um you know these guys have suffered and you want to be kind to them not out them and i said i'm not looking to out them but the 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 behavior needs to be understood so she told me a story whereby she had started working in a company her direct line manager started uh direct messaging on her several times every day 